Hi guys, this is Joe here from Bailey Design and today we've got a short Blender tutorial on how to enable depth of field in Eevee. So step one when setting up depth of field, make sure that you are viewing your scene through your camera. You can do this by pressing the number zero on your number pad. So if I come out of view and then press zero, on my number pad, I go into the main camera's view. Step two is to change your viewport shading from solid to rendered. And before I go on to step three, I'm just going to take my light here because it looks a bit dim. We're going to crank up the power there. And then I'm just going to grab and just move that up. And now step three, is to actually find the option for enabling depth of field. Now you might think that enabling depth of field is located in the render tab for the properties panel, but this does not enable our depth of field. It just gives us this single option. In order to enable depth of field, we must first ensure that the camera is the selected object and then select the camera's object data tab. Next, left click on this checkbox next to depth of field and depth of field has now been enabled. To control how depth of field affects your scene, open up the properties for depth of field and then you can choose whether you want to enable focus dis distance or focus on object. You can manipulate this value to manipulate the focus depending on the distance. Now in the current build for Blender, when you start from zero and increase, it starts defocusing. But once you hit a certain point, so about 0 0.05 meters or 0 0.06 I should say, then gradually after that, the focus starts to improve. You can also choose a single object in your scene to act as the main focus of the camera. So you can either left click in this box and choose from the menu, or you can left click on this color picker icon, which is actually the object picker in this case, and then select which of these objects you want to use as your main point of focus. So we can, for example, left click on our Suzanne object and then the focus is centered around our Suzanne object back here. You can further manipulate the effects of the depth of field by manipulating the aperture. In particular, you can begin playing about with this f-stop value where the higher the value, the sharper the image will be and the lower the value, the more the image will defocus. In this example, because we don't have that much going on and because our objects are still relatively close to each other, still only a matter of meters, we would have to bring the f-stop down a long, long way before we would start to see any real effects. In fact, we'd have to bring it almost all the way down to 0.4 in this example. And then you can do things like manipulate these values like blades and rotation values as well and they will also help create very subtle effects with regards to your depth of field. So that's it on how to enable the depth of field when using the EV render engine. Thanks guys and I hope to see you in our next video.